A Green senator has fought back tears, telling a court of her humiliation after being accused of saying that all men are rapists. Sarah Hanson-Young insists she never said that and has started giving evidence in a defamation trial against the man who claims she did. When he was a senator, David Lionhelm had parliamentary privilege to protect him, but he's now defending these words he used outside the chamber. Sarah called out was to the effect of uh, men should stop raping women. Uh, the implication being all men are, are rapists. Senator Hanson Young claims Mr Lionhelm implied she was a misandrist and also a hypocrite because she nevertheless had sex with men. Her lawyers presented this video as evidence. But Sarah is known for liking men. Um, the rumours about her in Parliament House are well known. In the days that followed, David Lionhelm doubled down. Would you like to take this opportunity to withdraw those comments you made and apologise for them? No. Bring it on. Senator Hanson Young says she's felt harassed ever since. I was really distressed, she told the federal court. Mr Lionhelm had made something up to justify this attack on my personal life. It was humiliating. Senator Christina Keneally told the court Mr Lionhelm's comments may have led the audience to discount Sarah Hanson Young's professional work and advocacy for women. People who read it would have taken his commentary to mean she's a narrow-minded, one-dimensional misandrist. Former ACTU leader Bill Kelty said when the claims reached Labor circles, he'd had to reassure former leaders Paul Keating and Simon Crean that Senator Hanson Young didn't hold those views. But David Lionhelm's barrister had a different take. He suggested the public would understand the comments were made as part of the rough and tumble of politics, and therefore they weren't defamatory. I won't be making any comments on it until the matter is over. After it's over, um, I expect you all to come rushing and ask for my opinion. His words may have landed him in court, but the former politician still has plenty to say. Nick Dole, ABC News.